up guys so today i'm back with another video and i'm gonna give you five things you should know before you dive into the food service game man so listen you don't want to miss this keep it locked let's get it all right guys so before i even get started let me just say this video is not meant to discourage you it's only meant to inform you i don't want you guys to have any surprises when you get out into this game all right so look with that said, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, the first thing you need to know is that this job is 100% touch freight. So all the cases that you see on these trailers, you're gonna be touching every case. All right, the only thing you got to work with is a two-wheeler, also known as a dolly. Some guys have multiple dollies. It just depends. That's what you got to work with, man. You're either gonna be going up and down the ramp, or if you're lucky, you got a lift gate on the back of your trailer but you still gotta load that dolly up with those cases and run them inside the customer. So if you aren't prepared to do that, you might wanna pass on this job. That's number one. Number two, you may have to dig for cases. And what I mean by digging for cases, sometimes, depending on how the trailer is loaded, you may be at your second stop and you need the cases that go into that customer, but those cases may be buried under another stop. I have to deal with it, luckily, I don't have to deal with it too much. Every once in a while, I gotta deal for cases, but thank God it's not every day. So that's something else you gotta deal with. One company that I really don't hear too many drivers talk about digging for cases is the McLean drivers. So I rarely hear McLean drivers saying that they have to deal for cases. So if they do, I guess they just keep it on the hush or those guys got a pretty good loading system to where the way they set their trailers up is pretty much next to flawless. Now, other companies out there, Cisco, PFG, GFS, uh, Cheney Brothers, US Foods, some of these guys, you're gonna hear about digging for cases. So it's still work that need to be done in that department. So that would be the second thing you need to know. All right, and it can get frustrating from time to time. All right, so the third thing you need to know we work in all weather conditions. We work in the heat, in the cold, in the snow, if it's raining outside. So if you're not prepared to work in those elements, again, you may wanna pass on food service. You're gonna sweat when it's hot outside. When it's cold out, you're gonna be cold. Might have some frostbit fingers if you're not properly covered up. Plus you gotta deal with the reefer inside of that freezer it gets pretty cold so those are some things that you need to know about this job now there are circumstances where the weather conditions are so bad to where the route can get called off like for example i live in the south in florida one of the threats that we have here is hurricanes all right so if there's a hurricane that's a threat to the route that i'm running then that route will get canceled so that's something else that you need to know. All right, number four, as a new driver coming in, nine times out of 10, you're most likely gonna be on the extra board. Pretty much starting at the bottom, you're not gonna have your own route. So as an extra board driver, you'll be filling in for guys going on vacation, guys calling in, or wherever the manager needs you to be for that particular run. Or if they don't need you, you'll have the day off, and usually they still pay you for that day, a percentage right? You don't, you're not going to get four days paid, but they usually pay you a percentage. So until you get your own route as an extra board driver, that's going to be your responsibility. So that's something else you need to know. Now, when it comes to getting your own route, it's really no time frame. So I can't tell you a specific time, how long you'll be an extra board driver. That really is going to come down to the location that you go to and what their route situation looks like. Sometimes you could get lucky and have your own route after training. So it is possible that you can get your own route right after training. Again, it really just depends on the location and what their location needs are and how understaffed they are, all right? If they got drivers coming in from different locations, helping out running routes, then nine times out of 10, they probably need routes filled. So in those situations, it's very possible that you can have your own route after training. All right, number five, Last but not least, and this is my personal opinion, and it's really based on what I see and what I hear when I speak to other drivers out there that work for different companies, and that is 
all companies aren't created equal. And what I mean by that is, all companies don't treat employees the same. Some companies out there treat employees a little bit better than others, all right? And if you guys are paying attention to what's going on in this space, you probably can draw the same conclusion. So I'll let that sit right there. You guys can take that from what it's worth. But again, just my personal opinion, you guys let me know your thoughts. All companies are not created equal. That's why I preach on my channel. Do your homework, do that research, do your due diligence. Make sure you're asking the right questions so you can land yourself in a good position at a good company. All right, guys, so once again, let me just repeat this. This video is not to discourage anybody out there. If you guys wanna get into this game, get into this game. Again, if you don't have experience, if you're a new driver out there, you just got out of CDL school, I personally think this is a good opportunity for you to get in the game, get your feet wet, get some experience, and if you choose to do something different, do something different. Or you may get into this game and like it. Who knows if you still want to get into food service after hearing everything I said in this video. Come on, man. It's a lot of room for you. The money is out there. The work is definitely here. We're not slowing down. It's not like some of the LTL companies out there where it's dictated by the freight. We're moving out here. We're working. So it's definitely a lot of work. We need drivers. Listen, if you got any questions, drop them down in the comments. Until next time, i catch you guys on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.